Why do women need to plan their finances? What we're talking about today on the East Central Business Show. I'm joined by Helen Baker, our resident financial planner and author of On Your Two Feet. Yeah. I read that book. I kind of think it wasn't slated for me, Helen. Yeah, it's still good. I think your passion might lie somewhere else. (laughs) I do like looking after the women, but I have plenty of male clients as well. And I just say to them, just turn the she's to he's and maybe shoes become jet skis or something. (laughs) The concepts are the All right, same. Alright, in the Mediterranean, <laughs> I'm thinking of. But anyway, we need to do a disclaimer. Alright, so disclaim, don't believe a word I say. No. Um, so basically this is general advice, general discussion, and please seek specific advice, personal, for you. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And the disclaimer at the so end. So let's talk about your passion around women planning their finances, knowing where they're going. Now, what's you got sandwiches written on the whiteboard there. What's that re- refer to? Is, it, is that lunch coming up? Yeah, I think so. But generally, it's called the sandwich generation. So we're sitting in the middle. Um, by nature, women are generally nurturers and carers, mm. and they obviously give birth to the children, so they have a, a big connection to their children and their grandchildren. But they're also having to look after mum or dad or both up the tree as well. So they kind of find themselves sandwiched in the middle, having to make certain sacrifices about their own careers, maybe, to make sure they've got time for everybody else that needs them. that's true. Well, even some certain camera operators (laughs) over there might even have a a raft of grandchildren, so they they won't work on Tuesdays, will they? Uh, (laughs) But anyway, look, let's get on with it, because there's a lot to cover here. Pay gap. What about pay? What what do you mean by pay gap? Yeah, so we've come from... um, generations I guess now where the the men have held these kind of positions and women have held those kind of positions so there was the term the glass ceiling Mm. which they've moved on to now it's called the sticky floor Um, but what's happened is that it doesn't seem that the wages have still correlated between the achievements of getting these kind of roles versus what the male were males were being paid Mm. but then if you look at something like Iceland now they actually make it illegal to pay men more than women illegal. That's but isn't that part thing. of the award system anyway? There's no genders in award system. Yeah, it's once it goes up further up the tree, I think, and then oh, the, the okay. CEOs and you know different types of management roles and engineers and lawyers and so on. So okay, I'm still trying to get away from the sticky floor myself. But anyway, <laughs> look, no, but you're saying this has implications around savings, yeah? Yeah. So and gen super. and super is a big one. So. Generally, women will have less super than men on the basis that they've obviously got, say, the 9.5% of a smaller wage than a 9.5% of a larger wage. So the long term, that's a big difference. Big difference. Okay, cool. And then what happens around the, the, the stay-at-home type people as well? Is, you know, they've got the challenges as well, and I'm sure you'd like to see them educate themselves and be involved in finances. Yeah, exactly right. So when they're staying at home, they're generally not earning anything and so nothing is going into super. And we are seeing a transition. There's a lot more stay-at-home dads now. There's the Mm. paternity leave. There's things that are happening around maternity leave as well. But generally they will fall behind during that that segment of their life and then they generally will go back to work for maybe a part-time role. Mm. You don't see too many female CEOs doing two days a week. So when they go back because they still want to be there for the children, again, they'll make some of those sacrifices that affect their super. And if they're single, it'll actually affect their savings as well. Yeah, okay. And so what you're saying around that is regardless of gender, if they're staying at home, don't be absent, you know, stay part of the team, educate yourself here. Definitely be a part of what's happening there because there's actually some nice little strategies that um, the partner can contribute to their super. There's other ways that you can do that to try and even up the supers. Lots of little strategies in there to try and help plug this gap that's been happening. All right. Well, any conversation I tend to have around accountants and that sort of thing where there's dual directors and there's money flowing out through trust to the, both the partners. I mean, it's a, it's a quote way. So if you're staying at home, you're not informing yourself then that could all blow up in your face as well, yeah? Yeah, I think people need to be across what's actually happening. Like, what is the health of the business if it's dependent on those? And mm. and also understanding what's happening in the general finances. So coming in and being accountable is really important because that way they know what's actually happening and they haven't just left it aside because it's sometimes when they've done that, you know, it's come back to bite them. Yeah, for sure. And I've heard those unfortunate, you know, outcomes where, like, uh, the businessman predominantly has, has run up some debts or hasn't managed business well, 
and all of a sudden it's, you know, liquidators at the door type thing and the housewife is completely unaware of that circumstance, yeah? Yeah. That's a horrible shock. You couldn't yeah. you couldn't want for that, surely. No. And, and as a responsible partner, you wouldn't want that for your loved one anyway. No, exactly right. And but they get in too deep, I guess. I think sometimes they do. You've got some other things that can happen with accessibility to super depending on the age gaps that are there as well. So mm. people can erode without the other person knowing what's going on at times as well. Okay, anyway, so, well, there's some really important things going on around uh, women and finance and that sort of thing, passion project for you. And, of course, there is that book that is a, a recommended read, even if you're a fellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, how do they find out more about uh, and, and have a word with you personally, Helen? Yeah, just jump on the website on your own two feet.com.au and you'll find an opportunity to inquire online or contact us at the office. Okay, there we go. So that's the end of the first series with Helen Baker out financial planner on the East Central Business Show. We'll talk to you next time. So just a general chat with Helen Baker, our resident expert financial planner on the East Central Business Show. Helen, now, uh, where's this passion come from about financial planning? We've just shot your first series. You've talked about, you like it. Yeah. Where's that come from? I didn't know to start with. So my background was originally uh, more as a fixer. So I used to go into businesses and fix things and make things happen. So mm. I think the combination of the finance background, the project management, the fixer, and uh, dealing with people, one, two, three, and here I am. Okay, fabulous. Now we're gonna put a disclaimer up on, around us at the moment, so it's probably down here somewhere. -ish. But you know, it's really important that people understand that whatever we do in these episodes is not specific advice, yeah? No, so specific advice must be tailored to their personal circumstances, mm. so we'll just be talking generally mm. about bits and things and if that interests them and sparks them, they can seek specific advice from there. Okay, so now how do people get the Helen Baker though? So there's a book and there's a website to make contact, yeah? Yeah, so there's a website, there is the book that you can buy, I'm on LinkedIn, um, you find me wandering around Brisbane. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone if I'm at the groceries, <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, on your own two feet.com.au mm. is uh, the hub of where you'll find everything you need to know and really. And book title as well, isn't it? It is. What does that mean? It's all consistent. Okay, fabulous. All right, so that's a, a couple of great ways to get your Helen Baker, the resident expert financial planner on the East Central Business Show.